John Kirby from Auto Image along with Sean. We're here at uh, Comstock, Comstock, Comstock High School uh, with a really cool program. So SEMA is actually partnering with high schools to do these builds, um, like the one behind us. So it's a forerunner uh, that they're going to custom build and kind of teach students and teach um, kind of this process from point A to point B and builds. Um, we have some really exciting stuff coming up. We got some videos we're going to produce, some interviews. Um, who are we going to interview today? Uh, today we're going to interview AJ from SEMA. We are also going to interview the high school uh, teacher, Matt Bassey. And we're going to interview some of the kids, get their perspective on how this is going for them, what they think the process is like, what they love about this process, and where they see it moving forward. That's awesome. So over the next few months, we're going to release some videos, hopefully in shorter snippets of kind of following this whole journey of how we got the vehicle, how they're going to build it, and step-by-step -step process, and, and kind of what the kids are going to learn in, in the whole thing. So we really just kind of want to document this whole process with partnership with Auto Image, with SEMA, SEMA Pro, and Comstock High School, and high schools across the United States and their builds. So stay tuned, really exciting stuff coming up, and we'll talk to you shortly. to be part of the, the build program. Once they apply, they are vetted through SEMA board members, if you will, and staff. And then from there, they'll reach out to the schools and do interviews with them, and then the winners are selected. because this is the true community of the automotive industry. So it's so rich in that when we ask our members, hey, do you want to donate parts to be part of these builds? They are coming in full swing. And it's just incredible to see that. Our members really coming to the party, bringing their parts, but not only bringing them, but also demonstrating, demonstrating to the students on how to install, the importance behind it, the safety behind it. So it's been awesome to see. So the hope is yes, right? So we're always planning to evolve this program as long as it sticks around, which we hope it does for a long time. Um, but yes, obviously we want to keep evolving this program. We know how important it is for the industry and for the schools. Students can get involved with SEMA through the BUILD program, which is awesome, but then taking it a step further, SEMA offers some education and career pathing. So we ideally want to start with these BUILDs and then go, okay, now that you have a taste of what you might want to do in the industry, check out the SEMA Career Board, the Career Center. On there, it's a whole bunch of our members looking for mechanics, looking for marketing, looking for promoters, looking for sellers to be part of the industry, and then hopefully they get that recognition on the SEMA career page, and then we'll apply and become lifelong uh, automotive specialists. You know, what SEMA is trying to do here, the goal really, is to bring auto shop back. Bring auto shop back in general and then keep it, how you maintain it. And that's why every year, as soon as the Jeep sells on Bring the Trailer, that money gets funneled right back into the schools. So SEMA doesn't see that because we want to invest in the youth that's going to ultimately take our industry to the next level. Actually, our third party vendor who auctioned off uh, the vehicles once they're built. Uh, we work with them on getting them posted, and that's where people can go on and, and auction off. Yeah. So what is so cool is not only do we have the Jeep builds, not only do we have the custom events with the youth engagement programs that SEMA offers, but we also do have a student program, which um, 
It is 365 days because that's really our career path. Mm -hmm. But really, the student program, we bring out over 2,000 students to the SEMA show, and we give them a full day experience on Monday, right before kickoff. The show starts on Tuesday. So on Monday, we take them through the SEMA Launchpad competition sponsored by Yen. We then take them to a career day where we have over 50 exhibitors come with 10 by 10s, like a career fair setup where they can talk to students. Maybe they're hiring, maybe they're looking to hire, or maybe they just want that exposure with students, but students get exposure with them. So from there, we also then have Gear Up Girls. So we kind of take all the females from the student program and we put them into the SBN Gear Up Girl event. And that is a cool networking um, feature for the students that attend, the female students that attend. Yeah. Yeah, and then throughout the whole week, they get to walk the show, they get to go through the programs, and then on Wednesday, we actually offer a student luncheon, where we bring them back together, and we talk to the instructors, we talk to them, we bring in keynote speakers, we bring in industry professionals to talk, so it's quite an experience, yeah. Yeah, so that's an extra benefit that the that the high school builds get if they do have local shops around them that are donating carts, that's a perk. Because at the end of the day, you guys get to go to the school whenever they need. It's like calling the bat phone. It's like, I need you to come and check out how to install this part. We're having a really hard time. Um, so it's really beneficial for a school to have a local part stored next to it that's donating. Absolutely. They get that specialized one-on-one. -on -one.